Welcome back to At Home with Roby. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's andrew, R-O-B-Y, dot com. I'm Patrick McIsaac, along with Trent Haston. We are your hosts. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, Trent, we just got done with Brick McDermott talking about Charlotte, Charlotte real estate in particular at the end. And something we didn't get on the last segment and segment before uh, before the show, we were talking to Brick a little bit, and he mentioned the affordability of property within a certain vicinity to town. We're talking about Atlanta in particular. He said, you know, if you look at Atlanta, anything 10 miles from within the city, you're looking at a million bucks for a house. And in and, and Charlotte, that's not the case still to this day. So in Atlanta, 10 mile radius is a million dollar house. And I don't know if that's, you know, every yeah. single house, but he was kind of throwing out some ballpark averages being, being an expert in the industry. And I just found that fascinating. Well, I closed on, I own a condo uptown. It was going to be when I. I was a real estate genius, you know, and uh, I, know I put feeling. my deposit down in 06 on this condo, and before we had kids, I was going to sell my house on the river and, and make a bunch of money, <laughs> and then I was going to move into this condo and, and live there for a couple of years with my wife pre-kids, be an uptown class, make a bunch of money, sell it. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and then I was going to then I was going to build a house on the lake and have a lot of equity. Well, I'm still in my first house on on the river and I and I rented the condo out. Uh got got great great tenants I've had and become really good friends with with the folks that have lived there ever since I closed on them about 6 years ago. But when I bought that condo, I think it's I think it's I think it's recovered. I think it's maybe a little more than recovered, but I'm always optimistic and biased towards my own stuff. But I compared why I justified the the floor my condo's on is what what where it's at in the building and the number of parking spaces and the square footage and how close to the square. I compared it to Atlanta and the same condo in Atlanta in '06 when I put my deposit down was like 2.5 times the cost. I don't doubt it. And, and, and my justification was hopefully, <laughs> hopefully one of my investments in my life will turn out. My justification was if it takes 20 years to get there though, then my appreciation's right. I mean, if Charlotte is tracking along the lines of Atlanta, I hope Charlotte tracks along the lines of Atlanta, but but makes a lot of changes along yeah. the way to you know Agreed. learn from mistakes. Agreed. I, I had a similar. You know, you, when people get married, they have the the his, hers, and ours, and that was our uh, our situation. But it was his, hers, and ours, and they were condos um, around and surrounding Charlotte. And it was 06, 07, and 08 were the purchase dates. So we were uh, in the same boat for a long time. But like you, we we had some a little bit of appreciation over the last couple of years, and was able to sell the one that my wife lived in before we were married. Uh, Roby Realty, Sandy Thomas sold it and had a great experience. Uh, it went well, and, and it, you know it's hard to look at it as a long-term investment when you're sort of in the thick of things and in a down economy. But now, sort of getting through that, it, it really helped me from from a business standpoint to learn how to you know to collect money and to hustle and to and, and to have some investments and to sort of see things through. So it, it was very helpful. Wow, one of my favorite terms, hustle. I oh, we hustle. like that term, don't I we? I do, I do, and I always, I have to defend it a lot when I. I'll throw it out there, and somebody else say, "Ooh, that's a dirty word." No, 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 no. Hustle means hustle means you're busting for success. You're working you're working harder than anybody else. And and in my in my view, hustle is completely honest and just hard work and diligence. I, I agree. I think of it as yeah, you know, back in the day, playing little league baseball again. You hit a grounder, or a shortstop, you, you, you better bust run, it, run to that the first thing base. out, hustle it, hustle exactly. Don't give up. Don't give up before you get get there. Now, I live out on the river west of the airport, and. Uh, we were talking about the airport. Brick was talking about how that was a huge asset for for the city. Uh, I get my newsletter every month about what's going on with the airport. I like to read it. I like to know what's going on. And there are nine Starbucks in the Charlotte Douglas Airport now. Nine <laughs> Starbucks. I didn't know there was nine Starbucks in Charlotte. I didn't either. I'm telling you, you get some, you get some serious caffeine going. The amazing thing is there's nine Starbucks on the west side of Charlotte. So how many? I wonder how. What's the whole? How many Starbucks? I mean, are we, are we playing Starbucks today? How many are in the city? I, I really don't know. I, I mean, I, I just was amazed that there was nine at, at the airport. Now, they, I, I noticed uh, going through there the other day, they have a new Starbucks and a new little eatery in the baggage claim area. So you come to meet somebody, you can have a coffee and, and have that a beer, or have a have a sandwich. Um, but no, I want to I want to give Brick a shout out for coming on. Uh, let's talk about his website. 
CunninghamMortgage.com. C-U-N-N-I-N-G-H-A-M. Yeah, and if Mortgage.com. You, the website's a wealth of information. They have a loan calculator. They've got a, a way to download an app called Home In. You can find Bricks contact info. Uh, you can actually find info. Cunningham is, is not just North Carolina. They, they've recently merged with the company, uh, another company in Oklahoma City. So they're 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 big dogs. I mean, they're they're a big organization. But I will tell you from experience, you do get that localized service, which is fantastic. I also want to give my mother a shout out. Uh, last week, I talked to her Sunday evening uh, on Father's Day, and and she she was tearing up and crying and, and 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 she she said she loved my story about me me popping a hole in my head and my dad my dad trying to be all cool and her wigging out making me wig out and th- she said I was gonna die she thought I was gonna die I asked her I asked her she said she laughed and cried at the same time I, I think that's cool I think that's that's true jubilation in, in, in your life when you laugh and cry at the same time you got to let your emotions out but I asked her I said well was was I right because because I was like six. So we're talking about 32 years, a little longer than Little League. And, and she said, no, you told the story exactly correct. So I, I was pretty impressed with my memory, my bloodied up memory. Well, that that was good. And we, I think we got a stitch total for Trent at 82 last week, if you missed that. Um, 82 stitches in his, in his career. I have another one I'll tell next week. I've got one. I think I recall one where you got a stitch or two as well. Uh, All right. We can save that for next time. Folks, for the entire... Roby family of companies, and Trent Haston. Thank you for listening. We'll be back next Sunday at 9 a.m. Visit andrewroby.com today. And remember, you're always at home with Roby. <laughs>